Last time on Insights with Experts, Mark Guys covered the concept of strategic string design and how it can assist you when installing solar panels using the direct attach method. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate this process in greater detail by laying our panels upside down, offering you a close-up view of this method people rarely see. Let's get back to the studio. So the first scenario, or I guess I call them the building block that we're gonna do, is the scenario where one column or one row matches exactly with an inverter string. That's the case where you need to have the pass-through jumper that connects to the bottom other end of the string all the way up to bring it to the, to the rest of the home run. And as you can see, here's the roof we're gonna lay it out, so that jumper wire is ready to go. It's laid out coming from the home run, and it's laid out and it's ready to plug into that first module as we build. So that's important to have, um, in this case, have that this stuff laid out ahead of time. So what we're going to do, if you look at that image of the, of the column, the, this is a very simple one from the model perspective because every module is just attaching directly to the next one. Conductor ends are exactly where you need them to be as we showed in that picture of, them, of us connecting together. So with me is Caleb, our engineering intern for the summer, who's also a seasoned installer. He's going to show, we're going to do the basic prep. So every module on this column is going to be prepped in the same way, actually. So what you want to do is you want to just bring your, your conductor ends exactly where you need them to be so that when I slide two together, they plug together without having to reach under the module. Um, so there's one. So now that that's prepped, we're going to move this over to a staging area because the sequence is important too. So this module is actually going to be the top, the first one you install, the last one we install on this column. So that's going to be on the high side. So we're going to build them down so that, and stack them up so the first module they grab is the first one they install. So um, Caleb come back and Jesse Winternitz, who's our application engineer, they're going to stage it. So again, it's just important to keep that sequence. Once you can master that, this, is, this makes it really easy. All right, and as I said, um, for this scenario, they're actually all, all the models are being prepped in the same way. Um, so um, we're we going to just kind of fast forward through that to save time. So now the mondas are stacked up in the proper sequence, so you're building top to bottom. One single column, which is a single string. We're, gonna, we're in the upside down world today, so we're gonna be building these upside down so that really you can just visualize and see them, the wiring. The pass-through jumper that's going to the home run, that has to now be connected to that bottom, so it's simple as that. So that slides in and then you just kind of pull it tight so nothing will touch the roof. So you're good to go. So now they're going to put the next module in place. So the key to this is that when the next one goes in, you want, those, you want to be able to connect the two conductors together without reaching under with very little effort. So if they're right there, if you're installing this, then you're, you know, it's good to go. It's easy to, easy to clip them in. So you're done. And then that pass through you know, the same thing, you're just taking that pass through and just clipping that on this other module because you can't have it hanging on the roof. And let's get that third module. Something that would be another time saver, instead of having to run each pull through separately down the column and clipping it up, you can run the pull through down multiple ones through one wire tray. Then it's just a lot less work for multiple columns. So now, as you see, that when this string's done, you know, your, your pull-through wire is already set, and then the other string end just plugs into another, into the home run. So no wires are touching the roof. It's very easy to do if you plan and, and prep your modules properly. So the next scenario that we're going to talk about, the next building block, as I described them, is going to be this case where your column or your row length 
is exactly half of the string length. So you, in that case, you can go down and back with two columns or two rows so that at the end, your string ends are there naturally, and all you have to do is at the bottom, you have to connect two across. So that's great, but the one thing that's a little difficult is if you're sequencing your modules, they're not all alike now. The ones at the top are like as before, where your as you their conductors are at the side. But for this one, one conductor is on the side, and the other conductor is 90 degrees pointing outward to connect to the side of the next one to create that loop. So that's where you have to plan and you have to know ahead of time, play around and make sure you know where you're going to put these, as Caleb will do. Um, and, and you have to sequence them properly. So what we already have, we already have the two modules that are that are the top of this column. So the last two modules are already there, ready to be prepped, because we did that as last time. So one side is going to be just like it was before, but the other side now is going to point outward, because now this one is going around a corner to create that loop. This is done, so now we'll just continue building. And as we're building in columns, the next one now is going to be the, the top one on this column. That's going to be really where we're starting first. So these are going to be done in the same way as the previous example was. So this one will be another bottom one. This will be the very first one we install. So this one, again, is going to be a little different. OK, so now we have six modules prepped. They're all sequenced to, to build column by column. Um, so let's let's make it happen. So as you can see here in this scenario, there is no pass through. So really, you're just connecting the modules together, which is you know very simple, especially if they're right next to each other as you install the module. Let's see how quick that is. So now as this one is being installed, this is where the connection happens. So now the, it completes the string as you go upward now because these two are now connected electrically. And it was easy to do that we had the plugs ready to go. It was prepped at that exact location. And now as they do the last two, it's just installed as they did before. Again, there's no pull through in this case. So it's, you know, the end result is a very simple string. Thanks again for joining us in the Upside Down world today, uh, watching this installation with the emphasis on wire management, not on the mechanical installation. Thanks very much for taking us through today's lesson, Mark. As you can see, planning out your wiring method in advance can cut down on the amount of jumper wires you'll need, simplify the process of module prep, and make connecting your panels when on the roof much easier. What's not to like about that? If you'd like more information on direct attached solar mounting, check out some of the video links in the description below. Or grab yourself a box of the module cable clips we used today on the hardware page of s-5.com. Thanks for stopping by the Metal Roofing Academy. Don't forget to throw us a like and hit subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Or let us know there's a topic you'd like to hear more about by dropping a comment below. Until next time. <laughs>